Last night was the gala grand opening of the Museum of Mathematics in New York City. I spent much of the past five years developing the mathematical content for MoMath, so I made this quick video to show you some of the cool interactive things. I think one of the coolest exhibits is this human fractal tree. The geometry of the tree that's generated depends on how you stand and how you position your arms. Two copies of you replace your arms, and then their arms, etc., until there's exponentially many little copies of you along the leaves of the branches. Another popular exhibit is this giant display floor, which senses where everyone is standing. Here it's generating a minimum spanning tree, the shortest possible way to ensure everyone is connected. There's lots of other programs it can run, and anyone around the world will be able to design new programs to try on it. This beautiful exhibit is actually a musical instrument showing the mathematical structure of three-note chords. It's what a mathematician calls a quotient space. It shows visually and acoustically how different chords relate. Unfortunately, there's too much background noise to hear it, but come back and check it out on a quiet day. A fantastic set of specular holograms by Matt Brand really convey the idea that math is beautiful. Unfortunately, a camera doesn't capture the amazing 3D effect these have in person when you see them with two eyes at once, so you'll have to go there for that. When you walk in the front door of MoMath, you're in a cubical vestibule which is cut in half with a diagonal slice that gives a hexagonal cross-section. Remember that, when you go downstairs there's a walk-through plane of laser light, and you can put a plastic cube in the plane and try and orient it to find that hexagonal slice. You can also walk through and generate a contour map of your whole body. Back in the front lobby, be sure to notice this delightful tiling of dancing squares designed by Nathan Mervold. And there you'll also see a logo generator. The MoMath logo includes anything you can generate from a letter or symbol that's translated and scaled as you like and then rotated with eightfold symmetry. So here you can generate your own personal instance in this space of abstract logos. When complete, the lobby should also include a moving wall that you can program with all kinds of patterns. Here the top is moving in one direction, while the bottom moves in the other direction with half the wavelength. There's a puzzle room with lots of challenging puzzles to work on. These screens will be able to give you hints if you want. Notice that the walls and ceilings are made of giant pentominoes, one of the puzzles you can play there. There's also a puzzle aspect to this magnetic tile board. In addition to tessellating monkeys, there are also dinosaurs and rabbits. If you like polyhedra like I do, then you'll like this temple to geometry. Here you can generate your own polyhedral designs, which can then be 3D printed. The grand staircase features a giant paraboloid and shows how it can be used to multiply two numbers. As you'll see, a chord across the paraboloid crosses the axis at a height proportional to the product of the x-coordinates of the endpoints. It all becomes very clear if you're there and push the buttons. Even the bathrooms are interesting. Can you read what this tiling says? The truche tiling hides a secret message. You can take a fun ride on rollers that aren't spheres. You still get a smooth ride because the shape of these rollers has constant diameter, no matter how you measure it, even though it doesn't have constant radius. I notice that the sled isn't a circle, but it also fits exactly between two parallel walls because it has constant diameter. And here's a variation of the get off the earth puzzle. Can you explain why the number of red and blue monkeys seems to change when you move the lever? Martin Gardner told me it was his favorite thing that he thought should be in the museum. He influenced me throughout my life and he really taught me how to think like a mathematician. So I'm very glad to be able to have this here as part of his legacy. There's lots more to see at MoMath, so get to New York City and check it out. Not everything is installed and fully operational yet, so this is just a little preview, a sneak peek. But I know these hands-on experiences will lead you to see just how cool, creative, and exciting mathematics really is.